I'm starting a new work week in my life. <laughs> Today is Monday. You guys really seem to like my last one, and so I wanted to do another one this week. But yeah, it's Monday right now. It is like seven, no, it's almost eight. If you guys are new here, I just started my job last week. I am a marketing corner and corner at a lifestyle marketing company here in New York City. I actually went to bed last night at 10:30, so I woke up at 6:45 this morning naturally. I just had so much time this morning, so I really want to try to do that more. Maybe I'll even like start working out in the morning. That would be really, really nice. I want to try to make each one of my week of my life kind of focused on something different so they don't get boring. So this week I'm going to show you guys what I eat in terms of like my breakfast, how I meal prep for lunch, what I eat for dinner. Not super formally, but I just want to go through and show you guys because I really had a goal of not eating out whenever I started working because people just get lunch every day, which is fine. But for me, I just cannot bring myself to spend like $13 on a salad every day. I just think that's absolutely insane. And so meal prepping has been really important for me, but it's actually really easy. So I'm going to show you guys how I personally do it. And I think it'll keep it fun and interesting. And so I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing to work today. It's actually going to rain all this week, which is such a bummer. <laughs> the rain in New York is not fun because you actually have to walk in it you don't just get to like get in your car and dry so for breakfast this morning this is what i'm eating these are just overnight oats and so all i did was combine almond milk cinnamon chia seeds and like rolled oats overnight and a secret is if you add a little bit of greek yogurt just a tiny bit it makes them a lot more creamy and so i definitely recommend doing that and then i just put on some strawberries and agave in the morning but i love overnight oats it's one of like my favorite summer breakfast to eat i was also today supposed Supposed to go take photos with Aiden with a photographer who happens to be in town but it's gonna rain tonight and we were supposed to do it last night and it rained last night so I just don't think that's gonna end up happening this is today's outfit I'm just wearing this jumpsuit which I showed you guys it's from Express it's really comfortable and it's just like cute and I like it and then I just threw over this leather jacket which is from Brandy Melville I really like it I think it's comfy and then I'm just wearing some sandals from Aldo with it because they're just comfortable. This is what I'm bringing to lunch. I actually meal prepped this last night and how I like to meal prep is I just make dinner then I make like two extra servings and then I'll have two lunches for the week. And so this meal is just chicken sausage, broccoli, potatoes, carrots, and then I just have some multi-grain rice and then I pack ketchup, which I know is weird, but I like to bake potatoes and ketchup. So I'm just bringing my banana and RX bar and that is all I like to bring for lunch at work. So I just got back from work. It is actually like eight o'clock right now, which is a lot later than I usually get back, but that was just because photos tonight with Aiden. Her Instagram at name will be right here. We got some really good shots, um, had a really good day at work. It was a really good Monday. I think I'm gonna go try to work out even though it's late because I'm trying to be better at actually working out after work and not like putting it off. And then I think I'm gonna come back and watch The Bachelorette and do some editing, do my own work. Um, but it was nice, I still got to see Aiden for a while and every time I see him at night, it just like always puts me in a better mood. So I feel really, really happy to be home. It's like 10.30 now. I'm about to blow dry my hair and also self tan because I feel really pale basically spent the entire night filling out an apartment application which is not fun and I did not think it was going to take me that long but for some reason it just took forever so I'm praying that we get this apartment because it is just a really good place. I'm going to have an entire video up on my moving process including like the apartments that I toured plus the apartment that I got and then I'll have moving vlogs when I actually move so that is kind of the game plan right now. So here's what I'm having for breakfast. I just did two scrambled eggs, toast, this is Ezekiel bread, peanut butter and strawberries. And then I'm just bringing another RX bar and an apple for my snacks. And then we have the building that I work in. They have like a pop-up for this lunch company. And so I think I'm just gonna get free lunch through that. So I wanna reiterate this cause I feel like I'm always gonna get comments. Very casual workplace, work and marketing. Could wear leggings if I wanted to, but I just like to kind of like dress somewhat nice. And so I'm just wearing this top from Express. I just tucked it into jeans and then I'm wearing this jacket from Petite Studio. This is my favorite jacket. It is just so flattering and cute and I love it. I'm wearing these earrings which I got from 
Francesca's. My jeans are from Madewell. I love these jeans. I think that they're really cute and flattering. And then I'm just wearing my Lotta from Stockholm clogs. These are the short ones because they're just a lot more practical for New York for walking. And I'm about to head off to go to work. I literally just walked in from work just now. It was a very busy day. I actually got put on my third account, which is really exciting. So definitely it's picking up. It's starting to feel like I'm actually doing a lot more, which is a good thing. But I actually tonight have so much stuff that I need to get done in terms of YouTube, in terms of apartment stuff, in terms of just like random stuff. And so I think I'm not gonna work out tonight because I also need to make dinner and I'd rather make a healthy dinner than work out and like eat something frozen. So that is what I'm doing tonight. I just really wanna take a lot of time to do the stuff that I need to do. So, so miserable outside, it's raining so much. It's been raining all week. So I'm so excited just to have like a really chill, night in my apartment hanging out i've been liking that a lot lately and i think it's just because after working all day step one is just to put some taco seasoning on the chicken breast i just used the 25 percent less sodium whatever one works though and then i just let it marinate for like 20 minutes i think you're supposed to do it longer but i ain't got time for that so i'm just gonna stick this in the fridge while those are marinating i just like to cut up some bell peppers and then also cut up some yellow diced onions i honestly hate cutting onions and i only ever use one and so this is like two dollars trader joe's i know it might seem like a waste but to me i just i always have leftover onions so i'd rather just buy it i'm also just cutting up some romaine for the guacamole all i do is add a little bit of cilantro and onion to squeeze a lime into this also gonna save the other half to put on the rest of the bowl now i'm just gonna put the chicken on the pan and then I'm just gonna put the peppers with some oil as well. Also add some onion, a little bit of pepper. And it's cooking and I'm definitely about to set off the fire alarm. So this is the finished product. I have chicken back there that I'm gonna put on to this, but I have one meal prepped for tomorrow and then one for tonight. I make the guacamole in the morning though so it doesn't get brown. I have all my chicken, guacamole, brown rice that I just did microwave rice, romaine, and peppers, and I squeeze lime all over it. And this is my dinner. It's like a homemade chipotle. So right now it is 10 o'clock. I just finished doing some editing. Um, and I also saw Aiden tonight. I went and saw him. But it's 10, I'm about to take off my makeup and shower for the night. I got everything finished that I needed to, so I'm so happy I skipped the gym and did that because I just feel a lot less anxious and I still have time to get in bed and like watch TV before I go to sleep, so it's gonna be a good night. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing for skincare lately because I feel like my skin has really cleared up for the past like little bit. So before I use any products, I just like to take off my makeup. This also isn't sponsored. I feel like a lot of times when I'm ready to skincare stuff, it's sponsored. Not sponsored. I use my Neutrogena makeup wipes. They don't break me out. I know they're probably awful for you, but for some reason they just don't irritate my skin. So in the shower, I use the Innisfree Olive Real Cleansing Foam. I've been using this cleanser. I think it's really good. I've been using the Paula's Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner. I believe Paula's Choice is a Korean skincare company, but I could be wrong, but I love their stuff. I went to one of their pop-up shops and got to try a lot of products. After I do that, I don't use this every night. This is a retinol booster. I like to use this. This is also from Paula's Choice. I use this probably like once a week. I usually use some kind of serum. It's usually the Drunk Elephant Night Serum is what I use, but since I put on the retinol, I don't really think I need a serum. I'm just gonna do my old Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And then for my moisturizer, I've been using the green tea emulsion from Cozarex. I really like this. It's definitely lighter for the summertime. Just make sure to get your neck. And that is it for my skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and get in bed and probably just watch TV. It's like 10, 15, but I'd like to be asleep by 11. Happy Wednesday. I got up at seven per usual. I'm about to make breakfast, but I'm honestly just like not really hungry this morning. I think my dinner last night was just really filling. So I think I'm just gonna have a piece of toast and some strawberries. And then I'll probably get hungry at work at like 11 and I'll just eat a snack. I also finally got some reusable fruit bags and I'm so excited to use these when I go to the grocery store. But just packing my apple in this for a snack. But like I said, I'm not super hungry, so.
So for today's outfit, I'm just wearing my jean jacket, which I thrifted, and then I'm just wearing this dress, which is from Everlane. It's like a really comfortable kind of shift dress. I just really like it. A very casual outfit, but it's been raining nonstop, so I just do not want to wear something that's like, I don't know, more than this. And then I'm just wearing my clogs, which I feel like I wear every day, but it's just because they're so comfy to wear. Guys, it was a long day. I started my third account. So it's just been a lot of craziness, but it was good. I like that I'm finally like actually working, kind of having a routine, meeting more people. It's been really, really, really fun. So I just feel like all my makeup came off at work too. So I just came home to such an exciting package. I am so excited. This is from Paula's Choice, which is one of my favorite skincare companies. Beauty simpler, not harder. Beauty begins with truth. Youth extending daily hydrating fluid. Antioxidant pore purifier. BHA liquid exfoliant. After I work out, I'm gonna go grab dinner. I have honestly just cooked all my meals lately and it's my one night a week that I get to eat out. So I'm gonna go probably just get a veggie burger and sweet potato fries at a place nearby. So just a veggie burger, sweet potato fries, and I really haven't eaten a lot today, so I'm so excited to eat this and just watch TV and chill, finally. My outfit today is super duper simple. I'm just wearing this top, which is from Princess Polly. It's just like a cheetah blouse. And I'm just wearing some black skinny jeans. And then I'm just wearing my Lada from Stockholm clogs. Breakfast today is really simple. I'm just having overnight oats again that I made earlier, but I'm out of fruit, so <laughs> kind of sad. For my lunch today, I actually got this last night at dinner because I used the app. And if you were a first time user, you got one meal free. So I went ahead and just got a meal for today. So this is like a barbecue chicken, rice, kale bean salad kind of thing so i'm just bringing this to have that's definitely another tip that i would have is just to see what kind of like local deals there are because you can sometimes save a lot of money like using their apps or whatever I got back from work and it was honestly a very long day. I had a lot all day, like from the start. From 8.45 to 6, pretty much was like clamped, but I got home and it's finally sunny. It hasn't been sunny in so long. So I actually got off a stop early and walked home, which was really nice. But I stopped by the grocery store and got some produce because I don't have like any produce. I wanted veggies tonight. And I also picked up this bad boy. I'm about to cut it open and then put it in the fridge while I work out so it'll be cold when I eat it for dinner, but I love watermelon and I haven't found a mini watermelon yet. And so this one looks like it's gonna be good. And then tonight I actually need to make an inventory of all the stuff that I have for moving. It's really not a lot, but I'm working with a moving company on my moving vlog, which is so exciting and so cool, but they need to know everything that's in my apartment that I'm moving just so they know like, how big, how many people they need and everything. So that's really exciting. I'm just in a really good mood because it's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Second week of work is almost done. I'm eating the rest of my overnight oats as a pre-workout because I'm really hungry. <laughs> Here is tonight's dinner. I just have some falafel that I cooked up, some roasted broccoli with garlic. It's so good. Leftover sweet potato fries from last night and then just a side of watermelon. And I'm gonna eat this and it looks really good. Here is my lunch for today. This is just like a turkey sandwich on Ezekiel bread. Usually my lunches on Fridays are really boring because I'm like out of food. So I got a thing of hummus here because I'm also gonna bring some carrots. I'm trying to eat more carrots. I'm really bad about eating them. And then I also just brought some watermelon. And so this is my lunch and then an RX bar. Today is Friday. I am so, so excited. I actually have a fun day today. So I'm really, really pumped and I get to have a really nice date night tonight with Aiden. So really excited. I'm you guys what I'm wearing to work right now. It's like literally 8.20, so I need to leave. You can literally hear the rain outside. It's raining so hard, but my top is from Petite Studio. It's definitely wrinkled, but it's so rainy out that I figure it's gonna get wrinkled anyways. And so this is what it looks like. It's just really cute. I'm just wearing my Madewell jeans and then also just some slides. I believe these are from Steve Madden. So I actually just came back home because I got a notification that we're allowed to work from home today So I got like halfway there and then just came back cool though because I can actually show you guys like what 
this entails i've got a lot of questions about my job and so I'm obviously not going to give like details but i can kind of go over like a general overview of what i actually do i'm currently on three different accounts which means three different brands that we do social media for in terms of like picking influencers carrying out campaigns and so most of my job right now i'm still obviously training and whatnot just entails pulling people into lists in terms of like who has the right demographics who has the right engagement levels who has shown to be able to convert for brands people are willing to actually purchase from them and right now i'm kind of learning how to do a lot of the tracking in terms of monitoring in terms of you know seeing how people kind of interact with the post and so i'm just going to go through and pull people that look good for these different lists there's also someone who went live yesterday on their instagram story that i need to learn how to actually like track everything i've been meeting at 1 30 with the new client that is new to our company that we're working with i don't know if that's in person or a phone call yet i don't think they've confirmed so i might actually be going there which would be really cool because i haven't gotten to do that yet but there's also a slide deck that we are working on to kind of a refresh strategy and so i kind of need to look over what the key trends are what kind of content worked what kind of content didn't work and so it's honestly super interesting and just a really cool job so if you are interested in social media you should definitely keep following my video and subscribe because it is such a new job and I just started watching Julia Haven Julia and Hunter on YouTube she is a social media manager for Sephora and it's been so cool getting to see her stuff and I feel like my job is somewhat similar in a way not that I'm working in-house at a brand but kind of like for multiple brands so really exciting stuff I'm just gonna sit here and work from home today <music> my hair for some reason is really bothering me and i'm about to go pick up a prescription pick up some setting powder and then also i'm going to do something else that i forgot on fridays we have summer friday so you can kind of finish up work early and do like whatever you need if you finish everything it's about four o'clock now and i'm done with everything so i'm gonna go enjoy my weekend <laughs>